Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing how to replace a broken pull cord on a steel TS420 cutoff saw. And here's the saw, as you can see the pull cord's broken. This is the one with the elasto start mechanism. So it's going to be a fitted pull cord that is used to repair this today. To start with, you need to remove the three 13 millimeter nuts. They hold the recoil assembly. And I'll just pull the recoil assembly off. First I'm going to start by removing the old cord from inside the rotor here. Once you have it right to the end here, you can grab the knot with some pliers. And now I can pull it out. And now to remove the part of the rope that's still on the handle, I use a small pick. You want to get this plastic part up. Then you just pull. And as you can see, there's another part or grommet here. And now you want to examine this part to make sure it's still good. And this one is, it's hardly used actually. And here's the fitted line from steel. If you want this one, it's part number 00001902901. Now if you don't want this type of line, you can change the handle and use a different rope without the grommets. Now before I reinstall the rope, I'm just going to air blow the inside of the recoil from all the dust. Make sure you wear your safety glasses when you do this. Before installing the rope, I like to heat it and make it nice and pointy. That way it won't fray as well. And make sure you use gloves when you do this. Or at least on the hand that you're going to make it like this, nice and pointy. This will make it easier to put it through the handle, as you will see. And now what you want to do is run the rope from the top of the handle right through to the bottom. If it's not nice and pointy, it will be very hard to get it through the bottom of the handle. Now let's have it out a bit, just grab it with pliers and pull it out. Now what you need to do is just push this down. And make sure the grommet is clicked in there. So it's going to look like this, nice and flush. And now when you pull on the rope, you can feel the elasticity. Now what you want to do here is line up the hole where the rope's going to come out of to the hole of the recoil assembly. Now run the rope through here and hopefully right through the hole like this. And now you can grab a small pick and pull it up. And now you're going to need to make a knot at the end of that. And make sure she's tight. Now pull on the handle, it's going to bring the rope in. And now what you want to do is pack that into the hole here. You want it nice and neat. Now what you need to do is rewind the spring in, so you need to bring the rope in like this. Line it up with the hole right here on the rotor, put the rope in and then turn counterclockwise approximately four turns. So I've got one, two, three, and four turns. Pull the rope out. It might get tangled up a bit here. you want it out of the notch then let it go back in now this is going to need another turn because it's still quite loose so it's going to be a total of five turns counterclockwise so bring it back out bring the rope in again and do another turn And now it's nice and tight. 
Now if you do decide to spray a bit of lube in here, do it so sparingly because all the dust can stick to the parts in the recoil. I'm just going to put one small spray right here just to make it smoother and it makes a huge difference. And here's a chipmunk in the shop here. At this point here I'm going to reinstall the recoil on the saw. What you want to do is line up all three holes to the studs on the machine. And then reinstall the three nuts. And I'll just snug them up evenly. And I'll just go around and tighten them up and do so evenly. And just use common sense. I don't have the torque specs, but you want them fairly tight. And that's it. Now that it's fixed up, I'm just going to start it up just to show it to you guys. So that's all there is to repairing the pull cord on your TS420 cutoff saw. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to follow me on Google+, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Have a great day.